as well. And then as we go down a little bit farther, um, you'll see that we're able to download that file, and that's a, a PDF file. Uh, now, underneath that, under comments, you're allowed to rate this document. And you'll notice there's five stars there, so you can give it a, a zero through five stars. Just enter your name, uh, email address, and then you have up to 2,000 uh, characters to enter any kind of a comment, whether you really think it's a good article, that maybe it only applies to a certain sector uh, of the profession, uh, whatever you feel about the article. But we want our members to uh, go through, rate articles, comment on them, so that others can learn and benefit from those uh, as we get more and more information on there. One of the nice uh, search components that you'll have is when you're looking for documents, you'll also be able to, to search it based on the ratings that, are, that, that articles have. So you could search by top rated articles as well, um, which gives you a little bit more control over what you're able to see uh, when you do your detailed searches. Now, uh, one of the key benefits of identifying your topic expertise areas or the topic areas that you have interest in when you first register, if you notice the arrow on the left-hand side of the page, is that when you do a search, you click on My Topic Areas. If you do a search on those topics, this one, for instance, happens to be on risk management and insurance, uh, a members list populates on the right-hand side of the screen. These are other members who have indicated that they have interest or subject matter expertise on that particular topic. So if you're familiar with those members, or maybe they're part of your chapter, um, you, you would be able to, to contact them right away. This is an area that we're working on that hopefully we'll be able to identify mentors and um, have better breakdowns so that you'll be able to pinpoint people that you can connect with on a given uh, or a particular subject that's there. Now, you'll also notice on the members list, uh, there's a section that says View All. And if you clicked on that, you'd be brought to this screen, which lists, uh, for instance, under the topic of risk management and insurance, that broad category, we have 452 individuals who have identified themselves as, as uh, having interest and or expertise in that particular area. So the chances of you finding somebody uh, that you know in a chapter or an ASSE member that you're familiar with who has subject matter expertise would be pretty good. So let's get to the last uh, big component. And the big thing that we really want you to test out is how to upload or, or contribute to the body of knowledge. So in the right-hand corner of the page, uh, this is our home page. You'll see up at the top it says Add a Resource. You're going to want to go ahead and click on that. When you get to the Upload Resource page, you will type in the title of the document or the asset, uh, who the author or the creator of that uh, particular asset would be, the publication date, if known, uh, also the publication source, so where did you get it from, and that if there's uh, some kind of a link to that document, uh, to put that in there. One of the key aspects that we like people to do is you have 750 characters to write uh, an abstract or a, a quick summary of what um, anybody searching that document would find in it. So it's very important that you take a little bit of time to kind of summarize or provide a, a good abstract that's there. Moving further down that same page on Upload a Document, you select the type of document you have. I uh, would prefer that you had the document in hand and were able to upload it directly. Uh, however, if you have a web link or a web page where the information is located, um, certainly put that in there. Uh, we have in-house staff here who will review that document and put it in the correct format, uh, so that won't be a problem. So once you choose the, the format, you'll click on the Choose File uh, to be able to upload it. Uh, there's also a, a resource icon below, which will tell us what kind of format it's put in. Again, if you're not sure of a lot of these things, um, we have in-house staff that will take care of that. Also, we want you to, to take a look at the resource that you're uploading and kind of classify it um, to help uh, the search engine work a little bit better, but is it a best practice? Is it a case study? Uh, is it a checklist, an e-tool? You can read through the rest of these, um, anything from videos, websites, uh, but help us to identify that. Uh, moving a little bit farther down, you'll find uh, what technical area does it link to. And we have practice specialties listed there. And you can scroll down on the left, but those are all those technical competency areas that uh, we had identified very, very early on. But we would like you to tag those. Also, there's keywords. If you have time, we'd like you to go through the keywords. Uh, we, we have hundreds, if not thousands, of keywords already developed on there. So uh, you're going to know a couple keywords that you're going to be familiar with when you put a document in. And if you can contribute the main keywords that you would like this document linked to, certainly add those in there. 
but you'll notice down uh, further on this page, we have a search engine optimization that, for the most part, will be done internally. So this isn't something you have to worry yourself about. Um, but we'll make sure that we put as many uh, keywords and tags on that document so that when searches are made through the BOK or outside of the BOK, that our resources show up. The most important thing you can do is down at the very bottom is check the box to confirm that you do have permission uh, for this resource to be uh, put into the body of knowledge. Again, if it's your document or from a, um, a site like uh, OSHA, a public domain site, uh, you, you can just check that right off the bat. Uh, if it's from a, a, another party or ownership by somebody else, we'll have to obtain that permission. So what happens after you upload it? Well, currently, those documents go uh, up into the body of knowledge. And we have ASSE staff and volunteers who go through. They vet the information. They, they help put in keywords, uh, make sure that there's nothing um, inappropriate about the document. And then, it, and then it's uploaded uh, directly to the body of knowledge. We're currently working on a system where practice specialties, common interest groups, branches, uh, our business of safety committee, and other groups and committees will have authorization to do their own vetting. Uh, and then uploading. Uh, that'll be after we do a little bit of training and set up a little bit more um, rules. Um, now, the big thing we want to look at is that if we can get each one of our 34,000 members to upload one document per year, um, we think this body of knowledge will have well over 100,000 assets in it within a three-year period. And so that's what our goal is to get everybody to at least once uh, a year, if not once a month, take a look at documents that you find are important and start uploading them to our website. Uh, what are the benefits of doing this? Well, it engages all of us more in knowledge creation and knowledge sharing. Uh, it certainly facilitates a lot of participation with our members. It also allows us to partner with other members where we have um, lacking knowledge. So we're, we're currently reaching out to, on an international level, as well as uh, to other organizations out there that can enhance our own body of knowledge. Um, so at some point, we're going to be expanding internationally and globally. We're looking at translation of some of the documents that are out there as well. Uh, we do believe, though, this is going to improve the value of the profession. It's going to help define what we really need to know. It's going to organize what we already know. And where we have those gaps in knowledge, we're going to fill those in with the, the technical expertise that our members 